<laughs> one of the best holidays for eating. And, Thanksgiving, that and is. for everything else. That is why our next guest is sharing some delicious dishes with us, all made con sabor latino. You like that business? I love it. Look at him. Oh, there he is. You know him, you love him. Chef Chris Valdez is a cookbook author and the host of Que Delicioso mm -hmm. on the mm -hmm. Roku channel. And he is joining us live this morning. Wait till you see this spread. Welcome back. I'm so excited to be here. And you kind of got it all going on there. Look at I'm that. I got a little yeah. rhythm. That's she how we start. <laughs> Every other day. That's how we start. <laughs> and think, talking about starting, that's how we start with the coquito. Yes. Because that's what it's, gonna, it's supposed tags. to make you do. So, yeah. you know, I know it's been a long week of work, so yep. I got you sure both. Has on okay. We're going to start making the coquito. Now, before I start, uh, the Latin household, we make Thanksgiving uh, specialties like the turkey and the mashed potatoes mm -hmm. and the corn, and we love all of that. But then we have to make all of our Latin Please. sides. And I was going to say, so Puerto Rican too, you are? Cuban, Cuban, but I'm a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. My family didn't get the memo. <laughs> we didn't do lechon, penil, arroz con gandula, yuca until like the weekend after. Oh, Thanksgiving no. Thanksgiving was very, was very... We well, my, we did. We were pilgrims. That, but your no, house, they did Yeah, and that's why everything. it's our job to bring these traditions and make new traditions with our families. What do we start with So here? we're going to start with our coquito to set the party and start with the dancing. <laughs> so, yeah, very important. We have Look some... Oh! A baby, oh, that was a baby chef. L look at that. that. Baby, baby chef, that was like a year ago. Exactly. No, not this, the first picture. Oh. Something I'm uh. thankful for, my family. I was throwing the, the first pitch that day, and my assistant, Michelle, she's like, I'm having an intervention. And then I was like, how do they know about this? They're like, you don't know how to throw a ball. And I'm like, oh, that's what you're talking about. So oh I'm, my God. I'm thank <laughs> I was there thinking of all these things. And <laughs> yeah, my family what did I do? That? that was in uh, Miami for the Marlins. For the Marlins. So we're going to start with our coquito. We have, uh, you could do eggless coquito, very important. I don't like raw eggs in my oh. in my thing. And a coquito is basically like a uh, a Latin eggnog, but it's just a little oh, strong. I so love it. She's, she's well coconut. versed in the coquito. Oh, I know. We don't have the sweetened worry. condensed milk. We're gonna add uh, some cinnamon. We're gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract, and I like adding a little bit of dark uh, rum. I think it's it's just Please. what adds the yeah. the flavor to it. So just a little bit, and then we're gonna blend it up. We're gonna leave it overnight with some cinnamon sticks, some cloves, <gasps> uh, and then look what I brought for both of you. I mean, look, look at, at this. this. Because Chef knows presentation is also. Yes, half look at that. The business. And also, I'm going to teach you how to do a little. Uh, oh. Pa arriba, pa abajo, pa centro, y pa dentro. What? <laughs> look. Ooh. Look at that. It's my gal. Oh, that, you know that. what? It's delicious. I'm going to continue sipping this if you don't mind. <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> if you don't mind. Yeah, she's very I'm telling you, she knows. I had one sip of And you could add some Nutella to this. You could add some coffee oh, to it. There's Nutella. many ways. Of, but the, the mm. star of it is just the. My friend here. Of course. Dark you know, rum. Do you know what, what I like to do? The rum? And if you're home hosting, you get this the day before you make it and then put it in your coffee. The morning like you're about you to host. Eggnog. Yeah. At and seven no in the one morning, and no you're one my type of person right there. Look at that. <laughs> I, put a little, I put this in my cafecito. And then when everybody gets home, here to my house. Marisa, now Sita we know how rico. she gets all this energy in the morning. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, this so, is why she skips into work. The next thing we have is... Uh, is <laughs> <laughs> it's a Cuban, a Cuban pork shoulder, and it just, we just pour some of that juice on top. Oh like my that. God, this is. And then look at wow. this, just so oh, tender. Look at it cascading down. I like down. making it around, yeah. around six hours. This is just the most delicious thing. And leftovers. <sighs> you can make my iconic pan con lechon. Uh, it's like a Cuban pork sandwich with my garlic aioli. It's just the best thing ever. So then we have the moro, which is just black and uh, black beans with white it. rice, and it's cooked I in there together. Um, and then. The, the yuca, the yuca with the mojo. Now, the mojo, there's two types of mojo. There, you're good there? Oh my God. Isn't that amazing? Oh my God. Isn't that The coquito will do that to you. It'll, <laughs> everything will taste amazing. I almost fell over. Yeah. <laughs> they, it'll it'll do that too. The flavor. Yes. The flavor. Of the Lechones coquito, with yes. The, what's up? So the, then we have the, the mojito, which is different. We have a citrus. Uh, the mojito for this is like a citrus, yep. uh, sour oranges with cumin and salt and garlic. But the mojito for the yuca is basically lime garlic, onion, and oil. And you just, if you want to help me there, pour that over. Just and, douse it yeah. like how you do. Or if do. you want to use yeah. a little spoon oh, as well. Go. And make Whatever sure you, you get want. that bottom side. And that's oh, going to add so that's, much Now, what's happening on the bottom here? The, what's, that's, just love. That's love is <laughs> happening. Love is happening. <laughs> it's a secret ingredient. Just everybody. like what happens at the bottom of the coffee when you add the coquito. The same, exactly. The, the same thing Marisol is happening. Marisol singing in the kitchen, 7.30. Exactly. So that just adds so much flavor. And you can pour some of that as well on the yuca. That's like our gravy. Exactly. The mojito is our gravy. I used to, my mom used to Are you to saying put, mojito? mojito? Mojito. My mom used to put a little dish like this 
of mojo, and we used to dunk our tostones oh, in them. Oh, yes. That was well, like a Wednesday. Well, and we, this is we a yoga? We everything. The bread, we do everything. We do everything. All of it. And then last but not least, we have the, the rice pudding, just to end it on a nice note, and, and it could absorb all of that alcohol. <laughs> uh, but the, the rice pudding is just something you can make the day before. All of these items you can make the day before, and the next day is just going to taste amazing. And it's a great way of incorporating uh, not only uh, amazing flavors oh, wow. into our family Thanksgiving, but a little bit of our roots as Latinos mm -hmm. that we are. And we like celebrating a little bit of everything. So this is a, a perfect way of starting new traditions. And who doesn't like all of this, like, amazing, I've loved flavorful everything. Can you try the rice, please, since I tried everything else? Yes, yes, yes. Remind folks this rice. Tell them again, because I feel like we skipped right over it. This is a, a, a modal rice. So it's, it's black beans with rice cooked. Now, you're not cooking the black beans and the rice and mixing it together. No. Even though some people do it like that. But if you want to do it the right way, you want to cook the rice with the liquid of the black beans mm. and then add some Cuban bay leaves, peppers, Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I'm going to take the, some of that juice. mojito. Look at that. You can, it's, it's versatile. This mojito, you could put it anywhere. Anything. I do like a mojito. Mm -hmm. And then uh, with the leftover yuca, you could always fry it and make yuca fries. And you could oh. dip that in the garlic aioli as well. Oh, my God. High in protein and fiber, by the way. Really? That, that guy right there. A lot of marathoners. Here I am thinking yuca. he's a potato. Oh, Let's here. see this rice pudding. Here. Arroz con leche. Arroz con leche. Basically, we're cooking the, the rice with different milks, and then you could do, add some raisins in there. You could add a little mm -hmm. bit of rum in there, some cinnamon oh, some at rum. the end, and it's just a chilled Starting rice Starting and pudding. finishing with the rum. Mm -hmm. And you, if you want to, you could also serve these in little cups like this, like little dessert shots for uh, Thanksgiving, because sometimes people are so full that they either want to take it home or they don't want to finish. So this is a perfect way of serving it in these. Oh, just a little simple, sim uh, yeah. simple wow. sample. Simple sample. There wow, wow, wow. Chris Valdez, Chef, thank you so much. Chef. An honor to always be here with happy both of you. And happy Thanksgiving. Real, can you yes. tell everybody what you're going to be doing for Thanksgiving? I'm yes. going to be feeding 5,000 people at Miami International Airport for American Airlines. That's what oh. I do every Thanksgiving, every I Christmas. Can, how many years running now? Six years. Six years running. All mm -hmm. the staff. All the airline staff that has thank to work you. on Thanksgiving. We mm. thank you for your service. We thank you for this. You're leaving yes. all this, right? Yeah, of course, of course. I'm taking some. I'm taking the this line and the elevator from the 10th floor to the second floor is okay. popping off this right now. This is what I'm taking. You know, right you here. take that. You <laughs> can yeah. have that.